ফ্রমেশ The beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has said, When the day of Thursday arrives, Allah azza wa sends angels who have papers made of silver and pens made of gold. They record those who recite salat on me in abundance on the day of Thursday and the night of Friday. That is the night between Thursday and Friday. Ya Nabi, tujh pe laakhon durood o salam. Is pe hai naaz mujko hu tera gulam. اپنی رحمت سے تو شاہ خیر العنام مجھ سے آسی کا بھی ناز بردار ہے صلو الحبیب صلی اللہ تعالی علی محمد صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ و علیہ وسلم میری بھی جفان نہیں چاہوں ون ڈے اینڈ بیکیم اے بگ نیوز ان پاکستان تھرو نیوز آؤٹ لیٹ اے ون ڈے اولڈ بیبی گرل واز بیریڈ الائیو ان اے رورل ایریا آف پنجاب پاکستان اے مرسی لس فادر buried one day old daughter alive. The police arrested him. Details revealed that the accused person had become the father of a sixth daughter. Giving a statement, the cruel father said that his daughter was ugly and had a distorted face. He had even asked the doctor to give her a poison injection, but the doctor refused, so he buried his daughter alive. My dear viewers of Fandini Channel, we've heard how this stone-hearted and merciless father murdered his daughter who was only a day old. What was the mistake of that baby girl or, or her mother? It is the will of Allah that for whomever He wants, He grants them a son and whomever He wants, He grants them a girl, a daughter. Remember, whether it is the murder of a daughter or a son or anyone else, in Islam, murdering a person unjustly is haram and an act that leads to Jahannam. It is stated in Mu'jam al-Saghir, If those who are in sky and on the earth gather upon the murder of a Muslim, then Allah Azza wa puts all of them into hell with their faces down. Many types of sins are committed, such as killing innocent people. And one of the reasons is the stone-heartedness as well. Our heart, our heart has become hard. And what is this stone-heartedness? What is this hard-heartedness? It is stated on page 370 of the commentary, Sirat al-Jinan, volume 4, published by Maktabat al Madina. Hardness of the heart means that the heart has become so hard due to not remembering death and the hereafter that advice does not affect the heart. The person gets inclined towards sins. He does not feel a sense of shame when committing sins and he does not consider repentance. Remember, the disease of hard-heartedness is not a minor disease. It is a destructive disease and hard-hearted people have also been condemned in the Holy Quran. In verse 74 of Surah Al-Baqarah, part 1, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ثُمَّ قَسَتْ قُلُوبُكُمْ مِنْ بَعْدِ ذَلِكَ فَهِيَ كَالْحِجَارَةِ أَوْ أَشَدُّ قَصْوَةِ Translation from Ganzul Iman. Then after it, your hearts hardened, so they are like rocks or even harder. My dear viewers of Madani Channel, the ayah that we just heard, the hard-hearted people have been mentioned. This refers to those people of Bani Israel who lived in the time of Sayyidina Musa ala Nabi Jina alayhi salatu wasalam. It was stated about them that they did not learn any lesson after seeing great indications and miracles of Sayyidina Musa ala Nabi Jina alayhi salatu wasalam. Their hearts became like stones or rather harder than stones because even stones get affected as from some of them streams flow out. Some stones break and water flow out of them 
and some fall down due to fear of Allah Azza wa as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills. But the humans who have been given so much of common sense and understanding, whose senses are powerful, intellect is complete, to him evidences are clear and opportunities of advice are present, even then he does not worship and obey Allah Azza wa Jalla. There is no doubt that the hard-heartedness is a dangerous disease and a devastating disaster. This disease plays a significant role in making us suffer from sins. Keeping its disasters in mind, Sayyidina Abdullah bin Mubarak rahmatullahi ta'ala used to say, for the true believer, the biggest punishment is that his heart will get hard. His hard-heartedness increases sins. It keeps a person away from the religion, erases the pleasure of worship, recitation of Holy Quran, and zikr of Allah Azza wa Jal. It keeps a person away from the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal and is the sign of misfortune. In short, it is a disease that becomes the cause of bringing out other apparent and spiritual diseases. It has been condemned in blessed ahadith. Prophet has said, a hard-hearted person is very far from the mercy of Allah. It is stated in a jami al sahir four things are from misfortune. The act of not flowing tears, the hardness of heart, to have high hopes, to suffer from the greed of this world. My dear viewers of Mother Nishan, we heard that one of the reasons of being away from the mercy of Allah is the heart becoming hard, the heart-heartedness. Nowadays, you ask anyone and these individuals are facing problems, but yet nobody is stopping committing sins. People continuously commit sins. Just think, is the hard-heartedness and the distance from the mercy of Allah is the reason for all these problems? Have our heart has become harder than stone and we don't even know about it? Surely, every illness has some symptoms which help to diagnose the disease. Likewise, my dear Yusuf Madani channel, there are some symptoms of hard-heartedness as well. Let's listen to some of these symptoms. Number one is negligence in worship. One of the symptoms of hard-heartedness is negligence in worship. The person does not like to perform good deeds. If he goes to masjid, he hastily offers salahs without extreme humility like a bird that is confined in a cage and trying to get free as soon as possible. Similarly, he begins to feel other obligatory acts and wajibat as a burden. This symptom of hard-heartedness is very evil because the same symptom has been mentioned for hypocrites in the Holy Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in chapter 5, Surah An-Nisa, verse number 142, Translation from Kanzun Iman, and when they stand up for prayer, they do it unwillingly. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from this disaster of hard-heartedness and grant us extreme humility in worship and recitation of the Holy Quran as well as sincerity and steadfastness. Ameen bijahin nabi lameen sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. In the same way, one of the symptoms of hard-heartedness is that when a person is not inclined to ponder over the hereafter or not doing good deeds after listening to sound advice and those acts which remind him of the hereafter or by reading or listening to the parables about sudden death. In short words, a person does not listen to the advice or the advice has no effect on his heart. Another symptom of hard-heartedness is to prefer this temporary world over the everlasting hereafter and to become restless in attaining success for this world, considered to be everything. As a result of this, such a person becomes blind in the love of this world and loses himself in the dark valley of sins and is left with nothing but destruction of the world and the hereafter. Another symptom of hard-heartedness is when divine commands are not followed and sins are abundantly committed by being shameless and immodest in front of person. Even then, his faith does not wake up to this fact and he does not refrain from that evil or he does not consider it to be bad in the heart. And if he cannot stop, it should be understood that his heart has become hard. My dear viewers of Madani channel, from these symptoms and signs, it can be easily judged that hard-heartedness is a very dangerous disease. It is a disease that makes a person a slave of his nafs and shaitan by making him disobedient to Allah Azza wa Jal. One of the ways to get rid of hard-heartedness is to think over the causes leading to hard-heartedness and then try to remove it. The question is, what are these causes? Number one is the love of the world. Love of the world is a reason for hardness of the heart because when love of this world overpowers the heart of a person, the heart starts paying more attention towards the world 
and he does not take interest in zikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worshipping. And the individual tries to find the peace of the heart in sports, entertainment, and the attraction of the world. The individual destroys his world in useless and sinful acts, and then he's destined to disgrace even in the hereafter. Another reason for hard-heartedness is useless conversation, as speaking too much or speaking without thinking causes hard-heartedness besides other evils of the tongue. The tongue is an organ that expresses the feelings of the heart and thus it represents the heart. Whenever the tongue is used, the heart and mind pays attention to it. Due to being busy with unnecessary and useless conversation, the heart and mind pays less attention to the betterment of the hereafter, contemplation of death and the conditions of the after death, and thus the heart starts to become hard itself. One of the reasons of hard-heartedness is stated in the blessed hadith is useless conversation. The Holy Prophet has said, do not engage in abundant conversations except the zikr of Allah because to have abundant conversations causes hard-heartedness and undoubtedly amongst people that person is furthest from Allah whose heart is hard. Laughing excessively is another reason for hard-heartedness. The Holy Nabi has said, do not laugh excessively because excessive laughter kills that is hardens the heart. Talking about the excessive laughter, the Prophet of Rahmah, the intercessor of Ummah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam has said, continue avoiding excessive laughter because laughter ends the nur of the face. The fourth reason for hard-heartedness is heedlessness of the zikr of Allah azza wa because the heart has four conditions. Number one, loftiness. Number two, expansion. Number three, lowness. And number four, hardness. The loftiness of the heart lies in the zikr of Allah Azza wa Jal. Its expansion lies in attaining the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jal. Its lowness lies in being occupied with people and its hardness lies in the heedlessness of the remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jal. Another reason for hard-heartedness is to eat stomachful. My dear viewers of Madani channel, the one who eats stomachful, they become lazy in worship and it is also harmful for the health. Sayyidina so, Bishr bin Hadis rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi has said, Eating a lot is one of the habits that hardens the heart. Sayyidina so, Maruf Karqi rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi has said, Eating a lot causes hardness of the heart. My dear viewers of Madani channel, it becomes obvious that one of the reasons behind the hard-heartedness is to love this world. The second reason we heard about the hard-heartedness is to have useless conversation. Unfortunately, majority of us are now involved in useless conversation. We don't even abstain from obscene talks. The Prophet of Rahma, the intercessor of Ummah, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam has said, obscene talk results from hard-heartedness and a hardened heart is in the fire. Allahu Akbar. Another reason behind hard-heartedness is to laugh excessively. Amir al-Mu'mineen, Sayyidina Umar Farooq Azam radiallahu ta'ala anhu has said, the person who laughs excessively loses his dignity and awe, and the person who jokes abundantly loses his respect in front of others. Apart from the heedlessness of the zikr and committing sins in abundance, eating in excess is also a cause of hard-heartedness. The great sunnah of the Holy Prophet is that when a person feels hungry, that is the time he should eat. Otherwise, without being hungry, if he eats food, it will not give him any energy, but it will ruin his health and his heart will become hard. My dear viewers of Madani channel, a man always wants something that is beneficial to him, whereas those things that are harmful to him Every sensible individual tries to get away from such thing. Surely, hard-heartedness has no advantages. It only has disadvantages. What kind of harm does a person suffer from hard-heartedness? Let's listen to it. The harmful effect of hard-heartedness is that the person becomes bold in committing sins. He does not care about the grave. He does not fear the day of judgment. He does not fear the accountability of the hereafter or the torments of hell. Being careless of every type of advice, such a person becomes bold and outspoken. As a result, sometimes such a person commits sins of blaspheme and loses his faith. A renowned commentator, a great thinker of Ummah, Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan Naimi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala has stated, A person who speaks about good and bad without any hesitation, that understand that he is hard-hearted and devoid of modesty. Hard-heartedness is a tree whose roots are in the heart of a human and its branches are in hell. 
The end of such a daring person is that he eventually becomes disrespectful to Allah and his beloved Rasul and thus becomes a non-believer, becomes a kafir. Allahu Akbar. The second harmful effect of hard-heartedness is that a person gets deprived of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's worship, recitation of the Holy Quran and virtuous deeds. My dear viewers of Madani channel, the reason we are created is to worship Allah Azza wa and to be inclined towards good deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Translation from Kanzun Iman, and I created the jinn and men only for them to worship me. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا Translation from Kanzun Iman, the one who created death and life to test you, who among you has the better deeds. Just think, my dear viewers of Madani channel, our purpose of life is to worship Allah and to perform good deeds abundantly. But hard-heartedness is a disease which makes a person forget even his purpose of life. Another harmful effect of hard-heartedness is that because of this disease, due to its evil effects, all the previous good deeds go to waste. The Holy Prophet ﷺ has said six things ruin a deed. The act of finding faults with people, hard-heartedness, love of the world, lack of shame, high hopes, and oppression beyond limits. Another curse of hard-heartedness is that a person becomes deserving of Allah's displeasure and curse. That is, a person is far away from the mercy of Allah Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated that the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam has said, ask for goodness from the kind-hearted people of my ummah. Stay close to them and do not ask for goodness from hard-hearted people because curse descend upon them. My dear viewers of Madani channel, we've heard what causes the hardness of the heart. We've heard what are the harmful effects of the hard-heartedness of the heart. But now we need to find out what is the cure for hard-heartedness. My dear viewers of Madani channel, if someone suffers from any fatal disease, he gets worried and starts getting treatment in order to get rid of it. Hard-heartedness is a disease which is an extremely fatal spiritual disease and can become a cause of disgrace in the hereafter along with the destruction in this world. Therefore, along with the removing hard-heartedness, we should perform those deeds which create softness in the heart. And what are those things? One of the things that softens the heart is to recite Qur'an as much as possible and think over those verses which mention the punishment of Allah Azza Inshallah, by the virtue of recitation of Holy Quran, fear will develop in the heart and the heart will become soft. In 23, in verse number 23 of Surah Az Zumar, chapter 23, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, translation from Kanzul Iman, Allah has sent down the best of books, the Holy Quran, which is consistent throughout, the one with paired statements, the hairs on the skin of those who fear their Lord stand on end with it. And then their skin and their heart softens, inclined towards the remembrance of Allah. If only we could have the privilege to recite the Holy Quran daily. If only we could be blessed with the fear of Allah Azza wa Jal by virtue of the blessing of thinking over the blessed verses. My dear viewers of Madani channel, another cure for hard-heartedness or something that creates soft-heartedness is to stay away from the company of bad people and be in the company of pious people. Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan Naimi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala has said, an iron after being soft becomes a tool, gold becomes jewelry, earth becomes a field or a garden, flower becomes bread. Similarly, a human after being soft becomes a saint, a Sufi, an Arif, etc. Soft-heartedness is a great blessing of Allah Azza wa This soft-heartedness is attained through the company of saints and their pure words. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself has commanded us to keep good company of the pious people. It is stated in verse 119 of Surah at tawbah chapter 11, translation from Kanzun Iman, O people who believe, fear Allah and be with the truthful. It is stated on page 258 of commentary Siratul Jinan, volume 4, published by Maktabudul Madina, that this very verse gives the evidence of having a company of pious people because one way of being with them is to keep their company. One of the effects of being in the company of pious is that one abstains from bad deeds and commits good deeds. Another effect is that it removes the hardness of the heart and creates softness in the heart. 
A person is privileged to die with faith and will focus on the serious matters of the grave and day of judgment. Therefore, every Muslim must have a relationship with pious individuals and keep their company and know whose company he's going to have. So then Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu has narrated that the beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has said, a person is influenced by the faith of his friend. Therefore, he should see with whom he is forming a friendship with. Persuading us to find a religious friend, Sayyidina Umar Farooq radiallahu ta'ala anhu has said, find true friends and spend your life with them because they are grace in pleasure and necessary in trials. And do not keep the company of a sinner, otherwise you will learn to commit sins from him. Another way to create soft-heartedness or to remove hard-heartedness is to be in a seclusion to make your world and hereafter better by performing religious activities and completing your necessary work of the world or keep the company of such practicing Islamic brothers whose words become the cause of increasing the fear of Allah Azza and devotion to the beloved Mustafa sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam in the heart. Sometimes the privilege of meeting such pious people becomes the cause of forgiveness. In the book Sharh al-Sudur, Allama Jalaluddin Suyuti Shafi'i rahmatullahi ta'ala has narrated, Sayyidina Yazid bin Harun rahmatullahi ta'ala said, I saw Sayyidina Abu Ishaq Muhammad bin Yazid Wasiti rahmatullahi ta'ala in a dream and asked, How did Allah Azzawajal treat you? He replied, He forgave me. I asked, What was the cause of your forgiveness? He replied, once Sayyidina Abu Amr Basri rahmatullahi ta'ala came to us on Friday and made dua. So we said, Ameen, it is for this reason that I was forgiven. Allahu Akbar, merely being in the company and saying Ameen on the dua of pious people can be a reason for forgiveness. My dear viewers of Madani channel, in order to become soft-hearted, one should wear simple clothing and eat simple food. If someone's clothing has a patch due to being old, then this is excellent since it softens the heart. Amir al-Mu'mineen says in Ali al-Muntaza radiallahu ta'ala anhu was asked as to why he patched up his clothing. He radiallahu ta'ala anhu replied, it keeps the heart soft and a true believer follows it. That is the heart of a true believer should be soft. My dear viewers of Madani channel, it is a great blessing to wear simple clothing. The Prophet of Rahma, the intercessor of Ummah, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam has stated, despite having the means to wear good clothing, if a person avoids them due to humility, Allah Azza wa Jal will make him wear the clothing of karama, meaning heavenly clothing. Another way, my dear viewers of Madani channel, to become soft-hearted is to abundantly remember one's own death. A woman approached Ummul Mu'mineen, Sayyidatuna Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha, complaining about hard-heartedness. She radiallahu ta'ala anha stated the following cure for it. Remember death abundantly, you will become soft-hearted. She acted upon this for some days, and when she became soft-hearted, she again approached Ummul Mu'mineen, Sayyidatuna Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha, and expressed gratitude to her. My dear Yusuf Madani channel, we should never forget our death and spend the rest of our lives in its preparation along with increasing our worship of Allah Azza wa Jal and contemplating of the hereafter and remembrance of death. Imam Ghazali rahmatullahi ta'ala has said, death is frightful and it has a great danger. Nevertheless, people are heedless. Neither do they think about it nor they remember it. And if someone thinks about it, he thinks of it without paying any attention because their hearts are occupied with worldly desires. Therefore, the heart does not obtain benefit from the thought of death. However, benefit can be obtained if one remembers death considering that death is before him. And apart from it, all other things should be removed from the heart. For example, if a person travels through a dangerous jungle or intends to go on a journey, then he only thinks about this. Therefore, when the connection of the remembrance of death is directly to the heart, it will be effective and such signs will appear as one will lose interest in this world to an extent that every joy of this world will become worthless for him. My dear Yusuf Madani channel, another way to soften the heart is to visit the graves, visit the graveyard and see those individuals who have actually been laid in the graves. The beloved Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam has said to the blessed companions, I forbade you to visit the graves, but now you visit the graves because it softens the heart, brings tears to the eyes and reminds one of the hereafter. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala eliminate 
the disease of hard heartedness from us and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us soft heartedness. Ameen. Bijahin Nabil Ameen. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Sallu ala al Habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Oh, 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 o